Revolution, what a thing, Gambia, it's Mr. Matan, Mr. AKA, Tony Mentally Ill to Kill. We say one of them, two of them, a crew of them, I will wind them. Listen to me. Slice it up, dice it up. Stop it! What am I dealing with? Gangster is number and we're representing. Uh, oh, article slice. No, real article slice. Holy eyes, classy eyes. Yes, yes. Article slice. Cho. Article slice, never cheat, never sin, never lose. Article always win. Watch out, I win as emotion every time. Lightning. Article slice from Gambia. Exceed and show you emotion every time. Watch out, total reggae connection. Yo, hear me now. Yeah, right now, Gambia, this is Beanie, man. Art, 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 catch light. Stay tuned and watch it, because this is Gambia TV, and this is Beanie, man. Gambia, as always, but it. Zaga, 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 Services and it's time now to close down transmission. But before that, I look at the news in summary. My name is Abuka Dabo. Hundreds of Gambians and non Gambians alike turn up on Sunday morning at the St. Mary's Cathedral Church in Banjul for the enthronement of Archbishop Dr. Solomon Talawa Johnson. The historic event attended by the Vice President, High Excellency Aja Dr. Isa Dunjai Saidi, and prominent Gambians from across the political spectrum witnessed the declaration of a statement and oath from the new Archbishop of the Internal Province of West Africa. Still in religion, Islamic scholars and clerics from across the Gambia and the sub-region so they converge at present Jamis Mosque in Piran to recite the Holy Quran and pray for peace in the country and the world. This was in response to a special day of prayer requested by the President of the Republic for world peace. Tourism officials have flown the first skydiving event, giving exciting birth to the first winter getaway, bringing a full team of Belgian skydivers in the Gambia under the reputable Superband Club. The maiden jump seeks to propel the exclusive brand of the Smiling Coast as a top destination on the continent. The Gambia Bureau of Statistics recently convened a major stakeholder forum to draft a new national strategy for development of statistics. The forum also discussed ways of improving the availability of a recent credible and accessible statistical data for use by government and stakeholders. Enterprise Insurance Company, one of the biggest insurance industry in Ghana, has officially launched its office in the country. During the launching, the CEO of the company said they have a range of products to offer to their customers. And the news from beyond our borders, U.S. President Barack Obama has begun a tour of Southeast Asia, the first since he was re-elected. Obama's first stop is Thailand, where he met the king and other senior government officials. He is expected to go to Cambodia, where he will attend the Asian summit before heading to Burma, a country that was until now seen as a pariah that will mark the first visit by a U.S. president in over two decades. There is no let-up in the Israeli onslaught on Gaza, as planes and warships continue to bombard targets in the besieged strip. Meanwhile, on the diplomatic front, Egyptian president and French foreign minister are working to broker a truce. The current exchange of rocket and missile has killed almost 50 Palestinians and three Israelites. That's the end of the news in summary. Thanks for the pleasure of your company and do have a wonderful morning. <laughs>